Good morning everyone. Today I am going to explain you the reaction between copper sulphate and iron. The second reaction between iron sulphate and copper. For this I have this blue colored solution of copper sulphate and these are iron fillings and this is one iron nail. And this is very light green colored iron sulphate solution and copper turnings. So in one beaker I am adding this. In another I'm not adding anything, I'm just leaving it like that so that I can compare the color change in these two beakers at the end of the reaction. Here I'll take some amount of copper fillings and I'll put it into one beaker and we'll leave this setup undisturbed for 15 minutes. This is displacement reaction. Actually here, when the copper sulfate is reacting with iron, this iron being more active it is replacing the position of the copper and forms iron sulphate which is green in color and copper is deposited on the iron nails. When we write this equation in the symbolic form copper sulphate CuSO4 plus Fe which is iron here this Fe will take the place of copper and forms FeSO4 and the copper here is separated in the form of copper is deposited on the iron fillings or on the iron nails. When the second reaction we are observing iron sulphate reacts with copper. We have added copper turnings into iron sulphate but we will see that there is no reaction. There is no reaction it remains as it is because this copper is less reactive than iron and it is not able to displace the iron. So in case of displacement reaction, the element which is more reactive is able to displace. It is able to remove the less reactive element from its position and this is called displacement reaction. So we will check the results after 15 minutes. We just discussed theoretically that the reaction between iron sulphate and copper turnings doesn't take place. And we can see here that this was the iron sulphate solution and it is as it is. There is no reaction taking place because the iron is more reactive than copper and this copper here is not able to displace iron. So it remains as it is iron sulphate and copper only. But when we see the results here between the reaction between copper sulphate and iron fillings. We took the solution in two beakers and you can see that this is blue because it is still copper sulphate but here we, we mix iron. We added iron fillings to that and that is why this iron changed the replaced the position of the copper and formed iron sulphate. So this is greenish in color due to the formation of green colored solution iron sulphate. Now we will check that uh, what happens to the copper. Is the copper also formed and for this I have this uh, filter paper. I am going to filter this. Let's observe the formation of copper. Here when we put the nail, nail was completely black in color. But the copper was formed and copper was deposited over this nail. The solution turned into green color due to the formation of iron sulphate. But copper, copper here you see when the reaction is taking place, the iron fillings which were black in color are changing their color. They are copperish brown. Okay, so the copper deposited here in this solution, the solution's color would change to green color due to the formation of iron sulphate and the copper formed will be deposited here and it will make a coating over this. Thank you.